welcome back to my channel and today's video so today's video is inspired by melissa's video about uh, her most worn perfumes in may uh, her name is melissa jean uh, she's a very beautiful uh, fragrance reviewer i love her and her videos very much and i'm going to leave her video in the description box so you can check it out if you haven't already so yeah uh, i thought it's a very good idea to share um the perfume that we have been loving uh, and uh, the most worn ones uh, in the last in the last month so yeah uh, if you're interested to know uh, my most worn perfumes in may so just keep watching so i'm going to share five perfumes uh, so in number five spot i have a uh, chance uh, au tendre uh, by chanel um, i've been loving this perfume a lot especially at this time of the year when the weather is a little bit warm um it's a very very beautiful uh fruity floral and citrusy fragrance that i've been loving to spray it all day long uh and also especially uh right after shower very beautiful word very classy it opens very citrusy from the grapefruit um and also it's very clean uh from the musk and it's very uh, powdery and it's 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 a rosy one so if you imagine how um the pink flowers smells like yeah it's a, it's a very light smell of pink flowers uh mixed with um uh, iris uh, i think and jasmine and musk very beautiful musky clean very light very inoffensive very easy to wear also um i could wear any age can wear this perfume any age any taste would appreciate this perfume really much so yeah um this is an eau de toilette and it has a, a good longevity i would say six seven hours on my skin uh, and it also has um an average silage so yeah, I've been wearing this perfume a lot uh, this month or last month. So yeah, check it out if you if you need uh, those uh, light, fresh, and airy uh, scent uh, during spring and summer. So uh, chance or tendry. So a uh, number four spot. Uh, I have perfume that I've talked about it a lot on my channel. Um, I love it so much, you guys. Oh my goodness, and this is the best time to wear this perfume you know spring summer i'm talking about uh, prada la femme oh my gosh you guys uh this is a light to bro scent so if you if you don't like to bros that much uh give this a try because the two bros in here and the white florals in here is very well blended okay so it's very well blended with yellow flowers like frangipini yelang yelang and it also has uh, iris so uh, it's, it's a very well blended uh, flowers uh, with uh, a note of beeswax of course oh my gosh you guys this is stunning okay it smells very expensive smells very luxe very elegant actually and it just makes me happy to be honest when i put it on it just makes me happy so yeah it smells very uh floral a little bit woody from the vetiver powdery creamy if you like those uh clean soapy scent it's very beautiful um yes i still highly recommend chicken prada la femme uh, because it's a very amazing one uh, in the spring and summer so. so now in number three spot i have a new fragrance to my addition uh, i've made um, a detailed review about it uh, if you want to check it out um, uh, i'm talking about uh, bloom of rose um, guerlain by guerlain uh, mon guerlain bloom of rose this is the edp not the edt oh my gosh you guys uh, very very beautiful rosy juicy fresher version of the original mongerland now i love mongerland um but i don't like the the heavy lavender dosage <laughs> that original mongerland has because uh, i'm not a big fan of uh, lavender 
so this is the perfect perfect flanker for me um so this one is rosy it still uh, smells aromatic and airy from the lavender uh but as i said the lavender does in here much toned down it, uh, smells also very fresh from the bergamot and it smells very juicy from the pear so as you see um, it's a very juicy very rosy very classy actually and also it's um it's a very womanly scent you know what i mean very beautiful one um and the dry down it smells um a little bit similar to the original but uh, still fresher and it's still more uh, floral and more rosy but the dry down here smells very uh very sweet from the vanilla and also from the pears very very beautiful flanker uh i'm so happy that i got it in my collection um i've tried the the bloom of rose edt uh but i love this one much more because this one this one has more complexity to it to be honest um it has so much going on and it's a very very beautiful one so this is uh, moon Guerlain bloom of rose uh, edp so now uh, in number two spot i have um kenzo flower uh, lumiere uh, this is also a flanker from a, the original kenzo flower the very fa famous one actually oh my gosh you guys so now um if you love violet this is a very nice and light violet scent oh my gosh you guys this, i love powdery scents very much and this is a very very beautiful powdery creamy violet and heliotrope scent it's also musky oh my gosh it also has uh white flowers i think okay now i would describe this one as the scent of um those high end uh thick body creams if you can imagine those uh thick you know body creams violet and creamy you know it's a very very beautiful one it smells very feminine it smells very subtle very tender i love it i just love it now uh, this is uh, an edt uh it has an average longevity uh this lasts me around five hours on my skin and the ciliage stays close to skin okay so people that close to you gonna smell you and it has an average scent as an eau de toilette i can't get enough of this perfume uh, as i said if you love those uh, powdery creamy feminine uh, very tender very delicate scents oh my gosh you guys you're gonna love this one so again this is uh, this is flower kenzo uh, lumiere okay so i highly recommend checking out this one number one spot uh, the fragrance that i've been wearing a lot a lot and enjoying this fragrance very much um i have uh, elisa uh, lip perfume in white um so first of all, um, I haven't tried uh, Elisa Bli Parfum uh, before, uh, so I can't compare them uh, beside each other. But um, don't let in white word fool you, because uh, it doesn't smell white and it doesn't smell that light and airy fragrance. No, it's not. Actually, this is oh my gosh, you guys this is a very sweet fragrance okay this is an orange blossom and very sweet and very sensual and very sultry fragrance oh my gosh you guys okay so um as i said it's an orange blossom based fragrance um it also has jasmine and it has many sweet uh sexy and sensual notes like benzoin vanilla um amber oh my gosh this is smells very mouse watering it makes my mouth goes worry every time and uh, i smell it especially on the skin oh my gosh um very amazing perfume 
so it opens uh it opens very fresh um from the mandarin orange or the orange blossom uh, and a little bit spicy from the red berries and it also it opens uh with a with a strong scent of patchouli i'm not a big fan of patchouli but um it doesn't bother me at all in this perfume um and every time i spray it uh the initial sprays reminded me of C by Giorgio Armani so I was like how come uh, this gives me the opening gives me C Giorgio Armani vibes um, and then I when I checked the notes um, I found both of them are uh, Shipra fragrances and also both of them has um, orange blossoms and vanilla and patchouli so it makes sense to me uh, so yeah if you like uh, C uh, by Giorgio Armani. Um, I think you're gonna love this one very much. As I said, um, it starts with um, a strong, fresh and patchouli scent and then, oh my gosh, settles down to a very beautiful, very sensual, very warm and cozy and so delicious scent of benzoin, amber, vanilla and also peach. You guys, very beautiful. Now, this fragrance um it's all year round scent okay so this is the only scent from today's picks that you can wear it and enjoy it also during the cold months uh it's not only a summer uh, or a spring scent uh, and to be honest um i prefer to wear it at night um so this is a very uh spring summer nights fragrance and i can't wait to uh to wear it during you know fall and winter because i'm pretty sure it's gonna turn on so amazing and it also has a very very great longevity and silage uh this is a signature worthy i would say because it's so amazing it has a great longevity as i said this lasts me maybe maybe nine ten hours on my skin and it has a very good silage and uh i would say this is um a compliment getter for sure yeah um and when i hold this perfume like maybe three weeks ago the first impression was i said it smells like expensive shampoos so yes um when you first spray it uh, it is gonna give you that vibes of a, f a smelling of fruity and expensive uh, shampoo but uh it's more complex than shampoos for sure yeah um so the more i wear it the more i fall in love with it um yeah check it out um if you love uh those um you know strong sweet fruity and very sensual uh, fragrances and as you see the bottle is a piece of art actually i love it so much and elisa always uh makes a great fragrances that has a great performance uh, so yeah uh, i highly recommend checking out elisa in white and i think that's all about today's video um i hope uh, that you enjoyed my today's video about my most worn ones uh, in may um let me know what's your favorite perfume during this time of the year i would love to hear from you and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much guys for watching and see you in my next one bye